In this video, the ATtiny 85 microcontroller is programmed to capture temperature and humidity from DHT11 sensor and display it on max 7219metrix module. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the DHT11 sensor connected to digital pin 2 of the ATtiny 85 controller. And we have the max 7219metrix module is SPI interfaced with the module using three digital pins for data in, chip select, and clock. And we also have a push button connected to digital pin D4 of the controller. The max 7219 module displays temperature in Celsius. We press and hold the button to display humidity in percentage. We release the button to go back to temperature display. A quick look at the C++ sketch. We need to include this uh, LED control library so that we can manipulate the pixels on the Max7219 module. And we need to include this library tiny DHT so that we can communicate with the DHT11 through the tiny 85 controller. The SPI lines of the Max7219 module, data in, chip select, and clock are connected to digital pins 0, 1, and 3 of the tiny 85. Next, we declare object display so that we can communicate with the Max7219 module. And we declare object uh, DHT so that we can communicate with the DHT11 sensor. And the DHT11 sensor is connected to digital pin 2 of the Tiny85. We declare two dimensional array digits, which will contain all the patterns needed to sketch the digits from 0 all the way to 9. Within the setup function, we initialize all the four digits of the MAX7219 module and we initialize the DHT11 sensor. Inside the loop function, we get the temperature from the DHT11 sensor and then on the first digit at address 0, we sketch the letter T and on the fourth digit at address 3, we sketch the letter C. Next, we call function display digit 1 to display the least significant digit of the temperature and then we call function display digit 2 to display the most significant digit of the temperature. Inside function display digit 1 and using a nested for loop we display the least significant digit at uh, address 2 of the max 7219 module. And inside function display digit 2 we display the most significant digit of the temperature at address 1 of the module. Back inside the loop function, if we press the humidity button then this if statement will be executed and first we will clear the display by calling function clear display and this function uses a for loop that will loop four times to clear the four digits of the display. After the screen has been cleared, the program enters an indefinite while loop. And within this loop, first the letter H is sketched at address 0, H for humidity, and then the percentage sign is sketched at uh, address 3. And then the program will get the humidity value from the DHT11 sensor, and then call this function to display the least significant digit, and then call this function to display the most significant digit. The while loop will continue looping while the push button is pressed. When we release the push button, this if statement becomes true and the program will then clear the display and then leave the while loop and back to displaying the temperature in Celsius. In my next video, I will demonstrate a real-time clock by interfacing DS3231 module with a tiny 85 microcontroller. Thank you for watching.